Okay, here goes nothing. We're making a huge mess all over my house, so you buy the best robot vacuum for the money. It's the Vacuum Robot Wars. Okay, let's drill right into it. These are the three vacuum robots and I bought them all on Amazon. Let's start right over here. We paid $30 for this thing. You can kind of see it's kind of flimsy, but we're gonna see how this thing does. This is the next one. This is the Shark Matrix. Okay, take a look at this. I'm gonna show you all around. We just spotted it on Amazon for $449.99, but they go on sale all the time. This says that it can pick up pet hair. It avoids objects. It also is bagless. It's self-emptying, so that means this thing finds its way back to the base, empties itself, and the bin, it says, holds all your dirt and grime for 45 days without you having to clean it. And then this is the bad boy right over here. This is the iRobot Roomba Combo 10 Max. It retails for $13.99, but we got it on sale on Amazon. This thing is heavy. It does everything that the shark does. Plus, it also mops. This thing has a mop right over here. Take a look at this right over here. This thing pops out and comes around and it'll take care of liquids. And it actually also, this says, knows what room gets dirtiest. It learns your house. It gets smart and focuses on that most. Let's start testing these puppies out. Okay, so I've laid out a string of Fruit Loops across my kitchen floor, and we have the $30 Amazon pick here straight up first. So come on over. Oh man, getting up is harder than it used to be. All right, so I'm gonna hit auto on this, and we're gonna see if this can pick up the Fruit Loops. Let's go, baby. What? Hello? I'm gonna charge this, I'll be right back. Okay, so we just charged this thing for a little more than 30 minutes, let's go. Come on, baby. No, all right, so this thing, it's dead. And then there were two. It's time to test the shark matrix. Now, the way to get this thing going, come on in here, is through the shark app. It's really easy. You can see it's paused right now. I'm gonna hit go. Let's see what happens. Oh, it's going. Look at that. Ooh, it shoot him up. Oh, it's coming back. All right, here we go. Yeah, there we go. All right, it's getting the final one. All right, the shark matrix did it. And I think what took it so long, Nugget hates these things. Don't be scared. Uh, it's been mapping the room, but it got all the Fruit Loops. Okay, we have the Fruit Loops. Check out the Fruit Loops. They're laid out all over again. Come on back. And here's what we're gonna do. We're into the iRobot now, the Roomba. The really, you know, the $900 one. So here's what you do. You come in the app and you can do the cleaning preferences, right? Cleaning mode. You can do just suction and cleaning. You can do just mopping. We'll do vacuum and mop. We'll see what it wants to do. Normal suction, normal amount of liquid. We don't need smart scrub here, but there's nothing sticky, it says, and we'll do one cleaning pass. All right, let's see what happens. I'm gonna hit start now. Boom, boom. Oh, hmm, interesting. Didn't get them all. Oh, going back. What are you supposed to, all right, it's getting some of them. It's leaving some around. You can do it. You cost $900. Whoa. Now it's chewing the Fruit Loops up. It did, it did it. It got the final Fruit Loop. Took a while, but it did it. It's mapping the room, so it takes a while, but the floor is pretty clean. Okay, time for the liquid test. Now the Shark Matrix out of this one, because according to Shark, the Matrix will not pick up liquids. In fact, the liquids can screw up the internal components, so you don't want to use liquids on that. So we're using the iRobot, the Roomba, okay? So let's, sorry, sweetheart. Dropping some soda all over the place. Uh, my kids are such a mess. We want to get crazy. And I always love some iced coffee, so we'll put some, some iced coffee down too. Okay, there you go. All right, this is gross. You can actually see the mop at work. Look how clean this is. That is unbelievable because there is a lot of liquid here. Look at this, because it, it needs a couple of passes, but it makes it totally clean. You can see the line, look at that. This is the line of mopping here, and that hasn't been mopped yet. You can see the difference. I mean, it's as clear as day. In my family, drinks are being spilled all the time, my kids and stuff, so I would probably spend the extra money if you had it to get this. And here's the finished product. Step on out. It is flawless. I mean, it got everything. Really nuts. But one thing I will point out, it doesn't dry it that I'm noticing. It's still wet here. But if you do this when you're gone, by the time you come back, it'll be dry. But just be careful. It still stays a little wet. But it's clean. This is the carpet test with a twist. So I already used Fruit Loop, so I'm using the other... My cereal, my kids. Don't 
Michelle, the doctor. Um, and we're gonna put it on here, just see how they do, because I'm telling you, when you have kids, this sometimes happens. Not too much, right? We wanna be reasonable, but you know, here you go, okay? But here's what else we're doing. Both the Shark Matrix and the Roomba both say that they will avoid objects. They're smart, they avoid objects. Objects like what? Socks. What's the stuff you have laying around? Socks. Cables. You know how these things always used to get caught up in cables and ruin the whole thing? So it should avoid this and that. Your pet does that when you're not home. Yeah, I bought it on Amazon for eight bucks. Fake poop. I'm 12. Okay, so we have that. It should avoid that too because in, in seriousness, that can really mess up the gears and the internal stuff, right? So you don't want it going on there. So we're gonna get these going. We're gonna start with the Shark Matrix. Now I will say, if that was real poop, and look, it's still running over it, if that was real poop, it may have messed it up because it did go right over it. And look, it's about to go over the cables. Oh. <laughs> it's not exactly avoiding objects, the shark, is it? Well, let's see what happens here. Oh, it's riding the cable around. You see that? Oh. It's jamming it up. Let's see. It's now dragging the cable with it. A lot of the stuff is still on the on the carpet. Not great. And look at look at it's doing at the dock. It's still like twisting itself around with the cable around it. At the end of this video, the drop test. How will the shark and Roomba do when I put them at the edge oh. of the stairs? Oh, right but to first, back to our carpet obstacle course and the pricey iRobot Roomba. All right, we're setting here. I'm re-sprinkling some of the uh, the fruity pebbles. The uh, socks and the cable and the poop, the fake poop are still in the same place. And now it's time for the Roomba. It's definitely picking up the fruity pebbles. I mean, we can see the line right here. Look at the line right here where it's clean and you can see where, and now he's going this way. Maybe it's a she. There we go, look at that run. This thing is taking its precious time, but it's working in the areas it's gone so far and it's avoided the socks so far. Okay, here we go. It's headed toward the cable and the sock. It's right on the edge of the cable, didn't hit it, toward the sock, turned, getting everything around it, stopped at the cable again, not letting the cable get under it, turning away from it, and gone. But picked up everything in this area. I feel like I'm calling a, like I'm Joe Buck calling a major league baseball game. Okay, so here's the state of play. The Roomba's done. It's going back home. It just told us on the app. Take a look around. Come on in. This is pretty, pretty clean. It got most of the stuff. It touched one sock. It never touched the poop. It never touched the cables, which is pretty huge because that's what jams it all up, you know. And, but look how much of the fruity pebbles it got around it. There were only a few fruity pebbles around this stuff. It got most of it. Pretty impressive. Okay, so now for the big test. Will it fall off the edge? They say they're smart, but let's see how smart they are. So I'm gonna start mapping and let's see what happens with the shark matrix first. Oh, stopped. Again, oh, stopped. You try again, buddy? Stopped. Okay, time for the Roomba. Let's see what it does with the stairs. By the way, I'm gonna, oh, I think it's coming at me. Oh, right to the edge. Stopped. It's not doing it. It won't come over the stairs. Okay, the Roomba's going back to home base. It did not fall over the stairs. I would say overall today, both the Shark and the iRobot Roomba did well, but I would say in our experiment, at least today, the Roomba had a better day. Did better on the carpet, it mops. It's more expensive, no question. So you get more stuff, but if you're gonna spend this kind of money anyway, maybe you just do it. You do what you wanna do, you've seen our test. Like the video, subscribe to our channel, drop me a comment, let me know how I can help you. All right and actually says that liquids could screw up the internal com uh, com Okay, time for the liquid test. Now the shark matrix, in fact, if you try to put it over liquids, it can screw up the internal. What's the word again? Why do I keep forgetting this?